Hello, Moodlers! Finally, I um, have an opportunity to create my first video using Moodle and I'm very, very excited. And before I show you what I chose to do, um, Nelly and the team, Barb, Nan, everybody, thanks. Um, I think creating these um, online instructional videos is one of the best things that I learned in this course. Of course, Moodle, <laughs> by all means. It is the first time I play with it, so I'm quite excited. So let's see. Here is my topic. It's my section is number 15. And I would like to show you how to create a mind map. Now, I teach English as a second language, so creating mind maps um, is something which is very helpful. Either um, the teacher can create them or if, if my administrators give the opportunity, I will give this option to or, or, or this functionality to my students also so they can create mind maps. So imagine a situation. Um, for example, um, imagine that I assigned a song to my students. We studied passive voice and Murchiba's uh, song, Rome Wasn't Built in a Day, um, was a good example that we used in class. And then imagine that I ask my students to create a mind map um, about or for one of the words or phrases that they didn't know in the lyrics of the song. So, um, let's imagine that this phrase is second guess, or this word. So, I'd like to create a mind map now for you. So, I go to my topic number 15, and then I, here it is, and I click on add an activity or resource. Within the activity list, you will see right here, mind maps. I select mind map, we click on add together, and off we go creating our mind map. So, we need to give a name to our mind map. Let's say that our name is second guess. Here, we can um, write a description of the mind map, so say, or an intro to it. Um, please present the meanings and relations, or relationships of, relations, come on, of second guess. So, we can format, say, second guess in some more noticeable way. For example, using some color, some font size. Okay. We can also make second guess a link directly to a dictionary. For example, I already have opened up Macmillan's online dictionary. There is second guess. And I can copy this link, go back to my mind map and add the link. Okay, so now I assume that second guess is a link. We will see. Okay, so let's just save it and display the mind map so far. Now, see here the intro to the mind map that we wrote? Please present the meanings and relations. Oh, I have a spelling error. I can fix this. But of second guess, and second guess is a URL now. If I click on it, it will bring Macmillan's Dictionary with the meanings of second guess. There they are. I will go back to my work now, to my mind map. Now, here is what it looks like. We don't see any second guesses in here. So, I'll just select 
the words in my first oval and I will put second guess in here. I can format it in our familiar word formatting ways. For example, I can make it bold, I can make the font different, I can make the size Let's see, all the size will be here, second guess. Okay, I can change the color. There are two little boxes here. One of them ch changes the background. So this changes, so this right one will change the font color and this one, the left one, if I'd like, to, will change the background color of the oval shape. Now I want to add relations to second guess so i will click on the plus sign here is my first relation the first meaning of second guess is criticize accuse or blame so i can add a few ovals with these synonyms of second guess and the second meaning is um guess what will happen. So I'll add another oval which is here is a synonym phrase reach between the lines for example in one more put two and two together okay now these two are different this is the second meaning of second guess, therefore I'll change a bit um, the colors so it's visible that it's something different. I'll do the same here with the same color before I forget what it is. And now the background color could be say, say dark blue. Okay. It's not that different from the other ones, but they are different for the purposes of um, showing it to you here. It's obvious what I do, so I can make it bigger or smaller. I can click on this layout button here, which organizes it nicely for me. And I, I see my main term, second guess, and two of its meanings, or, or the two meanings, presented by different synonyms. They are a different color. If I want, I will change this so the color difference is a bit better and easier to see. And I can do the same with these if I get the right color. And now they will look the same. I can easily see that I have two groupings here. And there I am. I will save my work by clicking on the save button here. And I am ready. So now, when I go back to my topic 15 area, I should see my second guess mind map. I'm a bit patient for Moodle here. Here it is. Second guess, if I click on it, I should see it. There it is. Yay! I can also go one step back and update my map to fix this spelling mistake I have. I do this by clicking on this little sun symbol here. And I will fix it right here. And again, save it. Save and display. And I will see that now the error is fixed. And one last thing I'll show you. I'll go back to, um, actually, I will go into my student role just to see what they will see. I do this when I go here at the bottom on the left. Um, switch role to student and I'll just have a look to see what they will see if they were to look at my mind map and there it is which is cool even better if my students can do those mind maps um, 
It could be an assignment by itself. So, thanks for watching. Very exciting about my first video and moreover in Moodle. So, lots of first stuff here. Um, thanks, girls, and thanks, everybody, for all your support and giving us an opportunity to pick up some invaluable skills here. So, talk to you soon. Bye!